Zoom adds a nice synchronous component to my online courses. I also use it in many face-to-face -face hybrid courses to do one-on-one -on -one meetings, tutoring, um, scheduled office hours, all kinds of different ways I integrate Zoom into my teaching. One thing I've wanted to do is find a way to better integrate Zoom into Canvas, the course shell that I use for my online face-to-face -face and hybrid courses. And I used to just cut and paste the URL from a Zoom meeting room into Canvas in various ways, and that works fine, but I recently discovered a way to integrate it into the left side menu so it appears along with your syllabus and other main course navigational items. And that's what this video will show you how to do. First, we'll want to make a Zoom meeting room for our course. And we'll schedule a new meeting. You can see I create a meeting room for each course. I'll call this course XYZ example. What I like to do is select recurring meeting and change it to no fixed time. This allows the meeting room to be open throughout the duration of the course. Even if we're going to be meeting at specific days and times, I usually just announce that in the syllabus or the Canvas shell, and there's no need for me to do it here in the Zoom meeting. If you have a password for your meeting room, you'll want that. That's a relatively new and good practice that we've put in place with Zoom meeting rooms to prevent odd anonymous people from just showing up in your room. If you do have a password, again, you'll want to have that listed in your Canvas course shell. I also like to allow my participants to join before me so that they can use this meeting room to study or um, just discuss the course. So often I find students in there. Uh, I We'll find them in there just working together or seeing if anyone else from the class. It becomes a virtual meeting area. And in these times of COVID-19 where we're struggling to get people to collaborate and communicate in these online methods, it may be a good idea to have your meeting room open 24-7 and allow your students to jump in the room even when you're not there. Then we go ahead and save this room. And we will need the join URL where it says invite attendees. That's that join URL that in the past I would just cut and paste into my Canvas shell and that would allow anyone to join the room. I've also, you know, emailed it out to students, anything like that. Uh, today we'll be doing something a little different with it. You'll want to go ahead and cut and paste that join URL into a notepad or scratch pad so that you have that for later. We'll need two other pieces of information to do this. You'll want to go to your settings over at the left here, and you'll want to scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll want to get the integration authentication details. You'll need the key and the secret. You can just cut and paste those into a notepad document. We'll use those in Canvas when we're integrating Zoom. What we want to do now is go into our Canvas shell find the course that you made the Zoom meeting for or create a new course In the course, we're going to want to go to Settings. Under Settings, we're going to click on Apps, View App Configurations, We we'll want to give this app a name. I'm going to call it Zoom. And this is where those two pieces of information, the key and the secret that we cut and pasted earlier when we were setting up our Zoom meeting, we'll need those items here. You're also going to need a little XML code. I've created a short URL. You'll see it below that will take you to this code. Just cut and paste the code from this web browser window. 
into XML configuration window like so. Click Submit. There you have it. If you were to scroll down to the bottom of this list of external apps, you'll see your Zoom app listed there. We'll want to go ahead and click Edit. And we're going to want to put the launch URL where it says launch URL. That's the third piece of information, if you recall, we copied and pasted out of our Zoom meeting room that we created earlier. We'll be cutting and pasting that launch URL here. Notice the one here says placeholder. That's one that I placed in the XML code that will have to be replaced with the actual meeting room URL. You'll see Zoom listed here under Navigation and Settings, and it's hidden and deactivated. You'll want to drag this up to wherever you want it to be visible in the list of items above, and then hit Save. You'll now see Zoom listed there. On the left side, if we go to Home or any of the areas of your course shell, you'll see a persistent link to Zoom. And when you click it, it'll launch the Zoom meeting room integrated right inside of your Canvas shell. Pretty cool.